What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today is a little different and I just want to say first off, I am not a financial advisor. This is not a finance channel. But once in a while, I think it's interesting to at least talk about things that we see going on. I am a car enthusiast, obviously, but I also really do pay attention to finance sort of stuff. If you look at my vehicles, they are older. They are not on loans or anything like that. I've had a car loan in the past, but I'm pretty debt averse when it comes to stuff like that. And with the current climate of things, I personally just feel that there's a lot of unsteadiness in the economy. I don't know if you guys pay attention to any of the international stuff like the whole Evergrande situation and their issues that they've had. And it almost sounds like an inevitable collapse at some point. And now another property company over in China has actually missed interest payments and principal payments on their loans. And, and it's, it's not good. And so when I look around at the price of everything going up, fuel prices through the roof, home prices continuing in this ridiculous bubble, and vehicle prices right there with them, it just gives me a feeling that things are really not going to end well. For me, personally, I am just kind of always been more conservative. It's something you just kind of learn. And, and as you know, as you get older, I'm early 30s. I've kind of seen different things. I remember the 2008 collapse very well. And, you know, I think in a lot of ways seeing that and, and some of the things my parents would say about, you know, not getting caught up in what people appear to have because it doesn't mean that they're better off. It just means that they can have a payment or things aren't what they seem. And sure enough, there were a lot of foreclosures, repossessions of vehicles, that whole nine yards if you kind of lived through that era. And I feel like we're heading to that same thing. If you watch one of the videos I did on the GT500 brake upgrade, you know, where I explained you know how that brake system works, but I ultimately didn't do it. And why is that? Like I said in the video, it's because of the state of the economy. I don't feel good about spending money, what I would consider wasting money right now for something that doesn't give me any sort of benefit to kind of really the car and just things in general. I think ultimately everyone has to do what they have to do, but when I look around at things and how expensive things have become, I can't help but feel we're going to start feeling the pinch like we did back in that 2008-2009 time. Homes are at an all-time high. That just doesn't even make sense, guys. I mean, one of the towns, for instance, that I am planning to buy on eventually I mean, Zillow is saying another 20% increase next year. So that would mean compared to the median income of a family there, to the median home price, what they're predicting, it would be seven to almost eight times the annual income here in North Carolina. That makes zero sense to me, and that smells bubble, in my opinion. When I look at the price of vehicles, which when you look at it, yes, they're an asset, but they're a depreciating asset. It doesn't make you money, right? So people are buying these at inflated prices, but what's going up? Everything. Your food bill, my food bill, I'm pretty conservative. My food bill is continuing to go up. The whole fuel price issue is going up. If you are from you know, the Northeast or a Northern state like myself originally, heating oil is gonna be in short supply. And what does low supply do? too high demand, the price goes up. And so I have family concerned about that. I have friends that are concerned about that. And so you start adding in all of this stuff together. And I feel like you're having almost the perfect storm start to converge. And I and then you factor in all the supply chain issues. I mean, I've been dealing with this at work for all year. I mean, it's insane what is going on. And I just look at this and I'm like, there's no way that this is sustainable. So what is me, three valve Johnny doing when I look at something like this? Well, it's it's being trying to be smart. I've always, you know, really tried to pay attention to stuff like this. I think it's really important to be aware. And yeah, this is a car channel. Yeah, I like playing with my car but there's a time when you need to pay attention to other things and so when I look at my food bill going up I've purchased a, an auxiliary freezer because I want to be able to buy sale items items I'd normally buy but I'm frustrated because I didn't have enough room so you know I can you know buy a couple extra things of you know frozen vegetables chicken thighs and you know a, a mini you know chicken or something like that I, I buy that stuff and I can throw it in the freezer, whereas before I'm, I only had so much room. And I'm not saying be hoarders, be crazy, but there are things that you can do that would at least give you a little bit more security in certain things. And even with my Mustang behind me, 
A few months ago, I had seen a ridiculous deal on Pennzoil Platinum full synthetic oil for it. So I bought enough that would allow me to have three oil changes, which with the miles I drive on this, it's three years of oil changes. So it's little things like that, having extra filters, having extra oil, having little items maybe you're using around the house that you know, you'd use anyways, but maybe you can grab an extra thing of them. Like those are the sorts of things I think that people are starting to do. And I know I've been that way. And so I think it will start to kind of pay dividends as this craziness kind of continues. Ultimately, I feel like we're going to be seeing some sort of repeat of 2008, 2009 when it comes to vehicles. The prices are so inflated. I don't know when that could be. It could take two or three years for that to happen. But there's no way that that stuff is sustainable because people's incomes are not going up. If it did, you'd start having this whole hyperinflation thing where wages are going up, goods are going up, and it just turns into this inflation disaster. Who knows if we'll get there? or not I hope not but I mean when you start seeing just everything going on now it guys it just doesn't make any sense and I don't know I just I don't have a good feeling about it is, is what I'm trying to say and I just figured I'd share with what I'm doing kind of a thing of what I'm seeing going on and kind of how my approach has kind of been just being a little more cautious with things, making sure that savings are continuing to be set aside and that, you know, kind of more frivolous car related or certain things, those things can kind of wait because I, I really want to see what goes on. So guys, I hope you guys are continuing to do well. It is a pretty uncertain time in my opinion and kind of my view on things, but hey, I know everyone has their opinion. I just figured I'd share mine, um, but I wish everyone the best. I'll you know continue making videos. I'm actually going camping here this weekend, so I'm really excited about that. And for now, that's gonna do it. So thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it very much. We'll talk to you in the next one. Take care.